Good day, fellow learners. This is your mentor, your fact check, Madre Gapus, joining you once again for our case number 14 in our learning and teaching engagement. So before we get to start, I'd like to ask you to please join us in this mission. Our goal is to provide free NCLEX RN application in your view to 100 nurses. Actually, we have increased that to 300 nurses for this year. We're able to achieve 100 nurses a year for the past two years. And so we wanted to extend this to more of our colleagues and let's help them out. So to help us achieve this goal, just watch and finish the ads in our video. So thank you in advance for doing so. And I'd like to say thank you to this anonymous lady. Well, due to my pushing, she actually gave me her nickname. So let's call her Tessa. And this is what she would want to tell us. Hello po, Dr. Ray, I passed the NCLEX. I'm so beyond grateful. Just want to share my blessings through your scholarship. I will give 20,000. Kindly send me the bank details. Dr. Ray, please don't post my complete name and pick in the soft med. Hope you understand. My next message can be posted. However, can you just show my name, Tessa? So Tessa, thank you very much for the 20,000 you sent for the scholarships. I know that will go a long, long way in helping our less fortunate brothers and sisters in the profession. So thank you so much for believing in what we do. And I'd like to make this public advisory, Dr. Egapus, that's me, and the mentors of the Ray Egapus system are not part of another center named Gapus Review or Gapus Review Academy. We are not related to that company. So if you want our honesty goodness system, please look for my complete name, the Ray A. Gapos Review System. So if you don't see any one of us, here's actually um, the team for the Philippines. And we have Mentor Chet, Mentor Francis, Mentor Missy, Mentor Shans, Mentor Marisol, Mentor McLean, and Mentor Nicole. And of course, we have other mentors located in different parts of the world who will be joining our international classes. So if you are enrolled, currently enrolled, in a class for Filipinos, then you'll get to see all of us in your class. So we also have our promo, get a free review from us if you process your NCLEX R application with ITAPS GAPUS, okay? So that's our partner in our processing. So we process your NCLEX application faster and at a cheaper cost because our packages begins at 45,000 pesos and that includes a free review program for the next generation NPLEX RN. So we have here a testimonial from Irene Osboal. Preparing for and taking the NPLEX was a challenging yet rewarding journey. Having trusted agency to process my application with ease and anxiety without anxiety was a big help. ITAPS GAPOS helped me to navigate my NPLEX application and testing process. And my experience was overwhelmingly positive. From the start, ITAPS GAPUS demonstrated professionalism and expertise. Their staff were knowledgeable about the NCLEX requirements and state-specific regulations. One of the biggest advantages of ITAPS GAPUS was their assistance with the paperwork. They ensured that all my documents were correctly filled out and submitted on time. Their attention to detail prevented any delays that could have occurred if I managed the process on my own. They provided a detailed timeline of what I expected, including key milestones and deadlines. This organization was invaluable as it allowed me to focus on studying without any worrying about missing any critical steps in the application process. Communication with ITAPS GAPOS was seamless. They were always available to answer my questions and provide updates on my application status. This level of responsiveness made me feel supported and informed throughout the process. Their guidance on what to expect on test day was also beneficial, reducing my pre-exam jitters. Overall, using ITAPS GAPUS was one of the best decisions I made in my NCLEX process. Their comprehensive support and knowledge made a significant difference in my experience, allowing me to focus on passing the exam. I highly recommend ITAPS GAPUS for a smooth and stress-free NCLEX processing experience. So ITAPS GAPUS, my heart failed things. Thank you very much, Ms. Irene A. Osboal. And she's coming from the Bicol region. She's now a registered nurse in the US. So let's begin with our next generation NCLEX RN case number 14. And this is about cystic fibrosis. Now, 
We know for a fact that cystic fibrosis has a genetic basis and it's a multi-system disease. But before we move any further, let me just greet and say congratulations to a colleague from the University of Santo Tomas, from our alma mater, Ms. Maureen C. Maitim, USRN, who passed the Texas Board of Nursing last August 17, 2024. And let's learn from her success recipe. And this is what she wants to share to everyone. Glory to God, I passed the NGN entrance exam. I took the exam last August 17, 2024, and my computer stopped at the 100 question. During that time, I was a bit nervous and kept telling myself to relax and go slow, like what survey has told us to do. In your preparation, indeed, challenges might come and even distract you, but stay focused, Kapit lang, and always pray. The NREX 311. Well, she listed that first. That's my book, Comprehensive Review, Course Shell, along with the QBank's Dr. Ray's YouTube channel and the three day quick fix. Help me big time. Na cover nila lahat. Trust in the system. That's a very good success recipe component. Thanks a million to the people who made a tremendous impact during my NPLEX journey, Dr. Ray, and all the mentors who never get tired of instilling concepts and necessary topics and even words of wisdom. You are all our earth angels. To so the IT and coordinator, especially Ms. Joanne, for all the tireless assistance. And to my loving husband and daughter, my parents, and the rest of the family, and friends, thank you for the inspiration, love, prayer, and support. I am over the moon. Keep fighting towards your dream, colleagues. I never stop believing. I am next, and so you are next. That's from Miss Maureen, my team, USRN, from the University of Santo Tomas. Congratulations. Now, on to our concepts related to cystic fibrosis. As I've been telling you a while back, it is an inherited condition and the pattern of inheritance is through autosomal recessive pattern. Now, what does that mean? Now, remember, if a condition is transmitted through an autosomal recessive pattern, both parents have to be trait carriers so that their child will have a 25% chance of having the disease and 50% chance of becoming a trait carrier. What does that mean? So if there's only one parent who is a trait carrier, that simply means that there's just a 50% chance of transferring the trait to the child. So there's no chance that the child will have a disease if only one parent has the trait. But if both parents have the trait, there's 25% chance of having um, the disease for the child and 50% of 50% uh, chance of the child becoming a trait carrier. So take note for autosomal recessive pattern for a child to have the disease and for the child to have a 25% chance of having the disease, both parents must be trait carriers. So if only one parent is a trait carrier, the chance is just for the parents to transfer the trait, not the disease. Okay, so it's important also to note that since this is a genetically transmitted condition, then you need to refer the parents to a geneticist so they will be able to understand how they can potentially transmit the condition to their children. So cystic fibrosis can be manifested by member A, B, C, D, E, F. So altered growth, uh, this could be associated with um, malabsorption of nutrients, breathing difficulty because of the obstruction of the airways by thick mucus, coughing and constipation, digestive enzyme blockage that could result to the presence of foul smelling greasy stools. There would be exercise intolerance because the airways are usually obstructed with thick mucus and of course, foul smelling greasy stools. Okay. Now, cystic fibrosis is tested through your IRT, your immunoreactive trypsinogen, that's usually done as part of the screening process in babies, but this is not confirmatory of the disease. Now, what confirms the disease would be your genetic testing. So cystic fibrosis is treated with pancreatic enzyme replacement therapy. Example, they will give pancreatitis. This should be given with each meal and snack which simply means that every time the child eats, they have to be given pancreatitis. That would facilitate the digestion of 
fats. And take note, since children with cystic fibrosis may have difficulty absorbing fats, their diet should be high fat, high calorie, and high sodium. Why high fat? Because you need to replace the fats that they have excreted through their stools, okay, so that their body can make use of the fats, specifically for functions like um, the um, conversion of your fat-soluble vitamins into more absorbable forms, okay? And then, of course, your cystic fibrosis, transmembrane conductance regulator modulator. That's a lot of things to remember. So remember, IVA-CAFTOR. So drugs that usually ends with a CAFTOR are with a um, suffix CAFTOR are usually, more often than not, used for the treatment or management of cystic fibrosis. Okay, so let's move on. So before we move any further, for those of you who have yet to get a copy of my NCLEX RN311, the Next Generation Quick Fix Edition, well, one of those who use it and pass the test has this to say. I asked her which part of a review helped you the most. Sir, Quick Fix at Bootcamp po, plus the old and new 311 book. Lalo na yung new version ng 311, complete package, sir, and doon lahat. So what she's simply saying is, MPLEX 311 is a complete package. Everything that she found in her test was actually in the book. Okay, so let's apply what we just learned to a case study. This is case number 14. The parents of a six-month-old child comes to the clinic for a follow-up visit. The mother of the child tells the nurse that their child had been diagnosed with cystic fibrosis. So which statement made by the mother reflects a need for the nurse to refer the couple to a geneticist to promote understanding about the disease transmission. Now, the first thing that you have to do before we move on and discuss the options is for you to analyze and think about what the question is asking. So pay particular attention to the phrase need for the nurse to refer the couple to a geneticist to promote understanding about the disease transmission, which simply means you are supposed to look for a statement that may not be true in relation to the genetic transmission of the condition because you have a phrase reflects a need for the nurse to refer the couple to a geneticist to promote understanding. So the question is implying that the couple whose child has cystic fibrosis may not have adequate understanding regarding the transmission of the disease. So let's move on. Is it one, since my husband and I are trait carriers, our baby have a 25% chance of having the disease? Well, we said a while back that cystic fibrosis is transmitted through autosomal recessive pattern. And if both parents are trait carriers, there's a 25% chance of the child having the disease. So one is correct. That is not something that you need to clarify with a geneticist, okay? So two, both of us are carriers of the trait. So our child will have 50% chance of, having a care, of being a carrier too. Yes, that doesn't need to be clarified with the geneticist. So remember, we're looking for a statement that you need to clarify with the geneticist. So just to summarize the first two statements, if a couple are both carriers, therefore, the transmission of the disease is at 25%. Now, if the couple are both trait carriers, if the question is about transmitting the trait, then it's 50%. So if the question is about disease transmission for both couples who are trait carriers, the answer would be 25%. If the question is about trait transmission for a couple who are both trait carriers, then the answer is 50% chance. Once again, 25% chance for disease transmission, if that's what the question is asking, 50% chance for trait transmission, if that's what the question is asking. So one and two are correct, no need to clarify. Three. My child is not at risk at all to have the disease or become a trait carrier since we don't transmit the disease. What did we say? If both couples are trait carriers, 25% chance of transmitting the disease, 50% chance of transmitting the trait. So we can consider number three as potentially the statement that needs to be clarified with the geneticist. But even if we are already making our 
conclusion, let's read through option number four. Our child will eventually transmit the trait or the disease to our future grandchildren. Of course, whether the child will transmit the trait or the disease would depend to the future grandchildren, would depend on whether that child will marry a trait carrier or a disease carrier or someone without the trait. But whatever it is, there's always a chance since the child is already a trait carrier or potentially a disease carrier, there's always a chance for the child to transmit the trait or the disease to their future grandchildren depending on the status of the future partner of the child. So therefore, statement number four is also correct. So the best answer for this is actually your option number three. My child is not at risk at all to have the disease or become a trait carrier since we don't transmit the disease. This requires further explanation from the geneticist, okay? So if you want to learn more with Mentor Rhea, I may I invite you to join me and get into the 10-day challenge. Join my Quick Fix Bootcamp for the NPLEX RN in our new home that's going to be at the Mount Crest Hotel in Baguio City from November 13 to 24, 2024 from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day. So the inclusions of the package would be you'll get a copy of my books, Nursing Reminder Sheets, NPLEX 311, QBank, Unlimited Sit in Plus, our online learning management system, our core shell and join the hundreds of thousands of pastors from all around the world. We're now in 35 countries and counting. So the next important thing, if you want to pass NGN is you have to learn how to study with technology. And at the Ray Gapo system, our resource materials or learning tools are published by world renowned publishers. And we have our own core shells which you can avail of. Now, this is included in the package. You don't have to pay additional for this. Your access would be unlimited too. And of course, be in a conducive environment. We do our bootcamp in a hotel where you are comfortable and we limit the number of students to a comfortable number. Plus, we have our own simulation room for the NGN. And these are all given as part of the package. So may I invite you? to join my next generation NCLEX RN Plex, the most flexible test prep class for the NCLEX RN, your choice of live face-to-face -face class, live virtual class, on-demand and limited video recorded lessons, um, access to our QBank plus my three books, plus the NGN strategies and sample questions with me, plus the quick fix session. Our fee starts at 3,499. You can choose for either a morning, weekday, or evening, weekday classes. We also have whole day weekend classes. Please uh, give us a call at 0906-201-9383 for more information. So once again, this is your mentor, your fact check buddy Ray Gapu saying thank you once again. And I'm at your service. I'll see you in my next video.